Yeah, you, you can feel the vibration. over here in our garage we've got the monitor and this monitor allows you to talk to the outside view the outside and also unlock the door so you can unlock the electric strike so we have to get the cable pretty much running from here all the way to the outside where the wall is and to do that we had to punch a hole from the outside all right so we're going to do a pilot hole first to yep. get through the jib rock is that right yeah exactly the brick and then the jib rock and we're not going to punch through the other end this not going to punch through the other end nice. you're going to feel it you're going to feel it nicely <laughs> Well done. Alright, so I'm pretty sure you threw both. Just give it a, a push in and out. There we go. See that one? Yeah, and just then need a little bit more. Just, we could put a bit of tape on. Yeah, you, feel you, you can feel the brick. vibration. You can feel that because it's got a 70 mil gap. So once you get through the brick, you have a 70 mil gap and then you've got your jip rock because that's your framing is actually 75 wide. Alright. 75 by 35 thick, you know what I mean? That's your uh, your framing. So we just transfer that yep. onto there. One, and then we'll know. And then you know exactly that oh, that's, nice. that's your length. All right, cool. So you don't go past that part on the wall. And that's just to protect us from not punching through the Too other nice. end of the wall. Through the jib rock, yep. It's got, it's got heritage tiling on the other side. It just can't be touched. Heritage. <laughs> heritage listed. <laughs> Just start kind of, just kind of like not, yeah, not too much because you could easily punch it. That's it. Beautiful. Let it. Yep. So in the outside, we had to punch a hole through here. I put a little cap on it eventually. Punch a hole through here and kind of fish in the cable up to here. And with this wall, we kind of got a sort of a block and we had to punch through both sides of the block. Something like this. So we had to punch through here and this side here, and then there was a little bit of wood. Punch through that, and then you can go up. And then also the bracing wall, a bit of wood, and we have to punch through that, and then we can run it through. We also got in trouble because there's a little noggin here, so we have to drill through the noggin to feed the cable through there. Once we've done that, we can fish it through and we're happy. And then we also, also fished it up to the top up there, and we also had to put a hole in through the bracing board. Obviously, we had a team player working with me, I got this cable, I'll yep. use this as a drawstring. Yep. How do I get it from there into the attic? So, that's a that's a hard one. Uh, I do that. So you'd have to grab that snake. This one. I'm going to give it a go. Oh, thank you. I don't know how I'm going to go. You hear it touching the back of the board at the moment? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we managed to get the snake halfway up the wall. I might even be able to get it without it. See down there? Yep. So we're on the, uh, that side of the bracing board, so we need to punch through the other side. Just drill for a bit more. Yeah, Go. so... Because the board's pushed back hard on the bracing, yeah. and then we're into the we're in the framing now, so we're on the jib rock to the bracing, there could be a nog, a flat nog like this in our way that's not letting us get past it. Yeah. Without making the hole yet or knowing where it is, we could pull this off. This is about board height. We might be able to see the back of a board here. All right. That's got it. Beautiful. Yay. So you can see on the camera. Keep going. See how it poked out? Yay, there it yep. Is. All right. That's awesome. Yeah, I got it. One sec. Those wires, you want to get zapped. Power's off anyway, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Yep, all right, so we leave that there. Like that, and then wrap, and then grab it, and then wrap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so hopefully, we'll be able to fish it from the other end. Let's go. That's Ash's tape. <laughs> Came for hey, it. There I've got you the go. magic cable now. He's yeah. got to pull it off the string. He's done a good tape job there. It's just hey. come right off. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the next update, we're actually be moving this guy into the kitchen, and we also have a cavity going up into the attic of the garage. And from the garage, we can go into the house and drop it down into the kitchen. So now we've just got the knob in the way. So to to hear a knob, do you know how to do the wall trick yet? No, what's that? So if you knock on the wall. There, so do a little, little mark. You're gonna have to do like a, a big rect 
rectangle because the drill's got to get in. You know got what it. I mean? Look, there's already a hole there, but we're going to, that's because that's from the power, but we don't want that because we're trying to stay away. So we're going to drill here. And this ain't like structural or anything, so you can drill next to it. Otherwise, you'd, stroke, yeah. otherwise you'd have to have, if there's one 25 mil hole there, you've got to have one, two, three, and then you could drill a hole there because otherwise the spacing's too. Like if you drill on a top plate, you need to be that's careful. structural, so you need to do that, keep the spacing, otherwise it's taking the strength out of the, the timber. Good. That's there. I can just go. If I can fit the drill in. Right. So if you go in there, we'll see it coming down. You'll see it coming down. Yeah. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Found it. Hey. So we need to get down to the second bit. Yep, got it here. Yeah. So what do, you, so what do you need now, apprentice? <laughs> what do you need now, apprentice? Go through here. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna tie that on? So boss, 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 gonna just sorry, boss. What, what would you use? What would you use to tie onto that cable? So I'm gonna use electrical tape. Where's your tape? Every good apprentice always carries tape. Carry and you tape. don't have your tape. I've got on tape, boss. Where's your tape, mate? Sorry, boss. No, we, sorry. You, every good apprentice carries tape, mate. Where's your tape? What? I left it outside. You're, you're kidding. Nah. Boss! That hardly gets good out these days. I'm gonna guard the ladder. I'm gonna feed through the, what, the tongue. Yeah, got it! I might give you a lunch break now. I wasn't gonna give you one. I was gonna let you keep working, but you know. <laughs> We're done! Thanks, boss! Nah, that's alright, mate. You've redeemed yourself. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a ride home now. It's mine now. Yeah, that's fine. You I've earned it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but once that was done, we were ready to go ahead and get the cable from the inside over to the outside. So we're just going to tidy up this cabling mess and we're just going to be using one of these little junction boxes because I want to have two conduits running out. One's for the intercom, another one is for a security camera. So it's going to go there. So the first step is just going to get a state speed bit, drill a hole through the back. I love these little gadgets. It just tidies everything up, makes it look professional. So the idea is it's gonna go something like that. And I've got an external, this is galvanized, so it means it won't rust when it's outside. It's kind of protected anyway, but it will last longer, less rusting. Just an external timber screw. Tighten the drawstring away. Now I used blue glue. I could have used clear glue, but we're probably going to paint all these conduits the same color anyway at the end, so it's not that big of a deal. But I probably should have used the clear glue because it looked kind of nice. It's grey. Like that. Good job. I guess we're going to replace that string anyway with an actual network cable next. <laughs> Can't believe I'm playing with these uh, big drill bits. Right? Can you? I was joking about playing with it. 